So today we are at Roy's and this is my 20 minute walk around that turned into 40 minutes. Currently we're in the what they call the keep fit section. They were selling stuff like yoga mats and yoga restraint bands and step up steps and that kind of thing. The aerobic step was actually kind of cool. I actually found a cheaper one um, in a different store while I was in um, Durham. These are really cute mugs. They were four forty nine. dollars I don't think I've ever paid £4.50 for a mug. But they were really cute. They were dishwasher safe, microwave safe. They were really cute. And they were knocked down from 9 were the original price. So four forty nine doesn't sound so bad when the original price was 9 Other mugs were like one ninety nine, reasonably priced, but for some reason they were just so expensive. Uh, the placemat sets were nine ninety nine as well. I don't really shop at Roy's, it's it's not my go-to store. The duck pail was kind of cool. If you're going to go, I suppose, crabbing or something like that maybe, or to the beach. Um, plenty of garden stuff. Again, I have a communal garden, so my garden is always looking good because it's paid for. Um, the gardeners are paid to do it, so I don't have to. <laughs> Um, so walking around the store, I was trying not to be caught filming. I hate it when the store catches you filming. And to be honest, this store was fairly busy, amazingly. What with the pandemic not ending, but hopefully next week coming to a more conducive end. Everything was a little bit crowded, so I was trying to find somewhere where I could film where I wouldn't get seen so much. Those were really cool. They were pastel coloured cutlery now. If you've seen my kitchen in videos before, you will know that my kitchen is black and purple apart from my fridge, which I couldn't get in black because it was more expensive. And I couldn't find a purple fridge, which kind of sucked. Um, but, but, um, Walking around, I was trying to find somewhere to film. I'm sorry, it's a little bit shaky. Um, to be fair, I had to walk quite a long way just to get here. Um, I was on my way to an appointment and just stopped to film. <clears throat> Next, we're going to come up to tons of shoes and slippers. And these slippers really interested me. They were purple. They were not down to a five. They were so soft. Um, but I couldn't really carry anything to my appointment. Um, I needed to be hands-free, really. Um, so I was looking around, trying to find something that I liked. I was going to go back afterwards and buy some bits, which I did do in the end. Um, but they weren't from Roy's. I went to Lidl and Aldi and bought junk food. Um, but the shoes were kind of cool, and I still like them slippers. I might actually go back and get them. This was also kind of cute, the little cat wheeler. Obviously suitcases, you can go on holiday now in the UK. Um, you're not restricted to where you can go now um, within reason in the UK. So um, I have a holiday in September. I don't actually have a suitcase. I do need to invest in one. Um, but they were scarf holders and they were like $1.99, I think. They were so cute. Um, yeah, I think they were $1.99. You had a bumblebee, you had the little handbag. And I've never thought of hanging my scarves up, sort of in your wardrobe. And these were really cool. I love a Radley bag. I used to have a Radley purse many, many moons ago. And £20 seems cheap for Radley now. When it first came out back in the day, when I was little and I remember Radley bags and Radley purses, they were so expensive so expensive to get a Radley purse. Nowadays you can get them for around £20. Easy to come by. <clears throat> Next we were looking at purses. Nothing really jumped at me in this bit. This kind of looked cool but I already have one. It's basically a card wallet. Um, but nowadays you can put all your cards on your phone. You don't necessarily have to carry so much around. <clears throat> These bags are also kind of cute, $9.99, just little shoulder bags. I did like the blue one, if I'm honest. I do like blue and black together. Um, the bags weren't overly exciting in my eyes. I kind of looked 
weren't overly impressed with the prices. £27 on that one. If you want a bag, the best place I suggest going is maybe Primark or TK Maxx. Um, Royce has always been a more expensive brand for the kind of... I would say Royce is more directed to sort of middle-aged people, and I'm nearly middle-aged as I am. <clears throat> but I'm talking more like pension age. We're talking maybe 40, 50, 60. Most of the clothes were kind of mid-40s, 50s age. Um, they don't really have, have younger clothes in. This was kind of cool. This was a little robe. Again... Black and white colour scheme, if you're new to my channel, I love black and white. Um, £19 wasn't a bad price on that one, if I'm honest. Moving on. <clears throat> I was just kind of finding little bits here and there to film, if I'm honest. With the pandemic, I didn't want to be seen to just be like hanging around the store. But that top was £78, mind you. <laughs> Nearly had my eyes fall out when I read it. Next, I was looking at swimwear. Like I said, I'm going on holiday in September, but I already do have a 1940s style, 50s style retro swimming costume, which is a two-piece. It's kind of like a retro swim dress that I got from a company called Rose Girl many, many moons ago. Um, this was also kind of cool. Nice giraffe towel. Literally the only beach towel I saw that kind of caught my eye. And for £10, I don't think a beach towel is that bad for £10. Okay. These were kind of cool. These were reduced, um, if you want to call them beach bags. I think they were 3 99 Yeah, 3 99 Not really my kind of thing. 2 99 not a bad price either. I don't tend to go to the beach with like a bag and a towel and sit on there. I'm not one for sitting on the beach. The men's section, ugh, nothing really like massively amazing. It's such a small section compared to the rest of the store. <clears throat> the men really do, I suppose you could call it, miss out. This was kind of cool. This little duck um, sweater was kind of cool. Um, didn't see the price there, but um, if you caught it, then it was probably fairly expensive. I don't think it was that reasonable. None of the clothes in here were really piquing my interest. I was more just filming for the sake of filming at this point. Um, <clears throat> that was also kind of cute. I did like the colour. It is more of a green colour. The camera makes it more blue. But as you can see, they are more kind of... This one, you actually got a necklace with it, which I thought was kind of cool. Um, not very often you get a necklace with the top. Um, moving along, this was also kind of cool. This was a off-the-shoulder bandeau-style dress. Kind of cute. I was trying to film. £13. Not a bad colour either. I'm not a big fan of wearing white, but the blue kind of broke up the, the blandness for me. I find white to be such a bland colour. <clears throat> I know, people are going to say black is, but... These were also kind of cute. I did like cushions if you're new to my channel or you're recent to my channel. I just bought a load of cushions from charity shops recently for a pound each. Um, I think these ones were like a fiver, if I remember rightly. Tea and blanket plus shoe equals heart. Well, I don't drink tea. I'm single. Um, so the only thing I can have out of that at the minute would be a blanket. And I'd probably be struggling unless it's my duvet. I don't really tend to have blankets, although my son does tend to steal them. Um, so I might have a blanket when he's not around. Next we were looking at bedding. So recently I've been looking at maybe getting a new set of bedding. Um, and I was just kind of browsing. They had cows, foxes, bulls, birds. Um, really cute little birds, although I didn't like the kind of yellowy flowers. Um, there was an array of colours, which makes a change. Usually bedding can be quite bland, but these ones had like balls on the top. Um, there was pandas, um, dogs, I think there were cats as well at one point. Um, kitty cats, tons of bedding. 
with tons of animals. The hummingbird ones were so cute. Um, so if you're looking for a new set of bedding, I highly recommend Roy's. And they were like, they kind of varied between like 19 and 25 pounds. So this was the Bayless and Harding stuff that I found. I absolutely love Bayless and Harding. $1.99. And these were for the hand soaps, which are such a good price for Bayless and Harding. Again, if you're new to my channel, Bayless and Harding was one of the collections I love to buy. Um, these were kid, kiddies, um, little um, shower gels. So adorable. Um, if I had two girls, maybe. Unfortunately, I have three boys. Um, and unfortunately, I don't think they'd be alright with using unicorn stuff or mermaid. However cute and adorable they smell. Um, but yeah, next, this really interested me. I have one of these at home, this Keratin's Pro um, Keratin Shampoo. I actually use it and it really does give you a bit of shine and volume. Um, I got mine from Poundshop.com for a quid and they weren't far off that price, I do believe, in there. These were really cool. These were little wheat bags that you stick in the microwave and you heat up. Um, they're around £13, I think it was, so a little pricey. Um, this stuff is also quite cool. This Garnier Rose stuff is meant to be really cool. And that pink grapefruit one on the end I actually have. Um, but the Garnier stuff is meant to have a really strong rose aroma. And I love the fragrance of rose. Um, at this point I wasn't sure what else to show you. I was kind of walking around. That was really cute. That was like a baby's um, newborn kind of soap set you had like a sh uh, body wash and then you had like shampoo and it was kind of for like a child that was kind of like new not newborn but sort of two three years old these are quite cool as well this soft and gentle deodorants very reasonably priced i found that deodorant is so expensive nowadays i don't know about anybody else but i think deodorant's gone up so much in price these are really cool as well these are the new bright go guard the new Right Guard Foam and Oil. And basically, when you spray it into your hands, it foams up and then you lather it all over yourself. Really cool. I actually um, love, again, Bayless and Harding again. These, I believe, were the body conditioners, I think. Um, and they were 2 49 Had I not been on the bus, I would have carried loads of these home. Next, we were looking at... Um, what were we looking at? Candles. A lady kept looking over at me at the till, so I was trying to film and do my video. They had tons of candles, um, tons of wax melts. This one really caught my eye, the diamond one that was £15. I would probably get that in a wax melt bar. Um, next you have more candles, more single ones. I'm not a big fan of Yankee candles, I have to say, for the price. I'm not overly, like, jumping to buy Yankee Candles for one ninety nine for a small one. Um, I can go to like One Below or the Pound Shop and get two candles, sometimes three, for like 99p. These were also kind of cool. These were like wax melts by Yankee Candles, which I'd never seen before. They're like little wax pods. Um, they were one seventy nine per pod. Now when I buy a set of wax melts from like you know, elsewhere you get like six little squares or eight little squares or sometimes even ten. 